Hey everyone, it's Merc, and today we're taking a look at a sovereign citizen who ended up getting his car towed because he was parked over the 72 hour time limit. So he decides to go to the police department to make a complaint, and then later he ends up getting arrested and having his bike towed. Let's roll the video! Yesterday I moved my vehicle so they can't say it wasn't moved every 72 hours. So. Hey, what's up, man? Somebody told my vehicle off of Sligo Mill Road and I want my vehicle back. Where is it at? Uh, I can give you that. This right here was left on my Mercedes. What was the reason for you, you all towing that vehicle? Uh, parking. Parking? Uh, it's stated parking. Excuse me? It stayed there parking. It stayed there parking? Well, it stayed it. The, the reason was for parking. I don't have a ticket on it. Give me one second. Can you give me a copy of the ticket? Just give me a second. Okay, thank you. This one was left on my Mercedes. They were both moved yesterday, so it can't be the 72 hours. This, again, is more retaliation, attempted retaliation, and harassment. No, it's not retaliation, and it isn't harassment. If you were parked for more than 72 hours, they have every right to tow your vehicle. And you have every right to argue the ticket if you want to, but the place to do that is in court. They will not learn. On this it says it must be moved every 72 hours. It was moved yesterday, so 72 hours have not passed yet. Neither was it passed with my Mazda. It also said that it must have a tag on it, even though there is no law saying that I must put a tag on my vehicle, on my property. So we're going to take it into a federal court and bankrupt this little town for this harassment. Well, good luck with that. I don't know about you guys, but something tells me he isn't going to be bankrupt in that town. We've already served the parking person. Mr. Bush with a letter of intent and the police department are next. Yes, sir. So uh, the main tow reason was for unpaid parking tickets. Um, and I can give you the, um, do you want the parking reports and supervisor's information as well? I, what I want is my, what's your name and badge name, Mr. My first name's Armani, last name's Keys, ID 8495. Okay, Mr. Keys, yes, sir. I want my vehicle returned back to where it was towed from. And you can tell the chief, the mayor, and whatever. Okay, okay. I'm going up to Montgomery County again, and I want to know where this vehicle was towed to. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm about to give you Okay, I appreciate that. Mr. Key says that for unpaid parking tickets, they towed this vehicle. The parking tickets are illegal parking tickets. And if you think I'm going to pay illegal parking tickets, this government of Tacoma Park is on some serious dope. What they're going to do is they're going to pay me for taking my private property off a public area. I'm going to say that's a terrible prediction. If you have unpaid parking tickets, then of course they're going to tow your vehicle. This is the game that these individuals play, and they're not even good at it. Mr. Keys, yes, sir. please tell who your chief 
and your mayor, if my vehicle is damaged anymore, they're going to they're gonna pay for it. Okay? I want my vehicle returned where it was parked at. So this is their um, phone number and also their address for the tow company. Um, and then that's towing. They're up in Beltsville. I, I thought you guys would have learned the first time, but you know, evidently you haven't. So if they thought I was joking and playing with them, they're about to find out. The vehicle uh, was towed by, it wasn't towed by like um, a regular tow, it was towed by a flatbed. So. Now this sob said is gonna call the tow company. Well, can I help you? Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming what you just said was dealing with a Mazda 3. Yep, you're gonna have to call Chico Park. I'm saying it, let, let, uh, who am I speaking with first of all? You're talking to Nick, the owner here. All right, Nick, the owner, you're being recorded right now. Let me explain, let me explain this to you. Right now we're in a lawsuit. Okay, I'm telling you right now that vehicle, I'm telling you right now that vehicle was illegally towed and, okay, and I, if you want your company involved in this big lawsuit, so be it, okay, but that, that vehicle was illegally towed from that area by Tacoma Park, Maryland, okay, so I want my vehicle back where it was, if you don't, I'll be filing a, a complaint with you also in federal court. I'm just letting you know that. Do that, do that, do that, sir. Okay, okay. say no more. Say no more. Okay. Don't talk about right. right. my head. Don't say no more. I have a feeling the owner of the tow company has dealt with this sovereign citizen before, and he isn't scared of him or his lawsuits. Mr. Keys, please inform your uh, administration. I want my fucking car put back over there. Okay, um, uh, they have never dealt with nobody like me before. This is the game that these clowns play. This is the chief of police vehicle right here. Okay. They went out there and say, because of the tickets, they towed my vehicle. And as you heard, the tow man said, until I settle it with Tacoma Park. Okay, we're gonna settle it all right, right up in Greenville. Again, this is more attempt to intimidate and harass me. The tickets are illegal. As you heard the tow truck driver say, do not move my vehicle until I satisfy Tacoma Park, Maryland. Ain't that some shit. Now this sovereign citizen goes to travel away on his bike. The only problem is it doesn't have a tag. I'm sure you can see where this is going. A few minutes later. Hi, I'm Sergeant Robinson from Cumber Park Police. Your license registration. What's your name, badge, Nimal? He literally just told you his name less than five seconds ago. Pay more attention. Sergeant Robinson. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? Can I see your license registration, please? What crime have I uh, committed, officer? Uh, you don't have a tag. Your tag's not readable. What crime have I committed, officer? Your license plate is not readable. 
first you said I didn't have a license plate. Now you say it's not readable. What is it? Uh, what is this? Can I see your license registration, please? What crime have I committed, officer? The traffic violation. A traffic violation? I'm traveling. Okay. okay. I don't need a license and a, a registration to travel on my private property. Your private property is on a public roadway. Therefore, you have to follow the traffic laws just like everyone else has to. You do need a license to drive a motorcycle. You want to, I do not need a license or a license plate to travel. So what are we going to do, sir? I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. You're the I, one that stopped me. I need your license and registration. Well, that's not what you're going to get. I don't need a license on my own private property. This is a private property. It's a public property. This motorcycle is a private property, sir. This is a public street. The Supreme Court has ruled I'm traveling. I don't have to need it. You so need I do not need a license, sir, nor do I need plates. Yeah, I'm still gonna do that. Maybe, so what, what, is, what, what are we going to do, sir? Is your body cam on? Yes, sir. Okay, Your Honor, this individual has stopped me on a public street riding my private property telling me I need a license and I need plates on my own private property. Show me the law or the statute, sir. Show me the law and the statute. I don't know it specifically. Okay. 13, section 13 in the transportation article is for registration. For driving. I'm traveling. You're traveling by driving the bike. The bike didn't travel there all by itself. And soon enough, you're going to be traveling straight to jail. Yes. For commercial use. This is not commercial use. Doesn't matter. You're on a oh, it does matter, sir. It does matter. Okay. So, so what are we going to do now, sir? I need your registration. It's not going to happen. So what are we going to do now? All right. What are we going to do now? I need your registration <laughs> and your license. What are we going to do now? What about your name and date of birth? What? You're not getting anything, Nothing? sir. Nothing. Zero. How can I tell who you are? What are we going to do, sir? I I'm on my private... Your Honor, I'm on my private property riding on a public street traveling and this officer has stopped me all right sir okay you're gonna be placed under arrest okay you're not giving us your license registration okay let me put this back in here go for it put your hands behind your back do you want to give us your name and license name and date of birth anything This officer followed me out of the station, and now I'm being arrested. For what I'm being arrested for? Uh, driving without a license. Okay. Okay. Uh, driving without a license. Also not identified I'm not driving, license. sir. I'm traveling. Same I'm traveling, and I don't have the ID in the state of Maryland. You have what? To give me at least your name and date of birth. I don't have to give you anything. You have to give me something. Oh. Come on, let's go. I'm ready to go. You're gonna learn a valuable lesson, sir. Where is this tag through? Is DOT exempt through a certain state? Nothing? Okay. Can you uh, take it back to the station? Uh, I, uh, was it, uh, can I get my keys off of that bike, please? You can have the keys. Wait. The bike. Okay, I'm good to go. Come on, man. Make sure that that bike is not damaged at all. My keys are my private property, which you don't have jurisdiction of. Are we ready to go, sir? I'm right, Mr. Wright. I got my keys. I got my keys. All right. Let me you up front. Yes, sir. And now he's going through my bags. Doesn't have a search warrant illegally searching my private property. Good. Yes, sir. Your Honor, this again is more harassment by Tacoma Park Police Department.
No, they are not harassing you. You chose to break the law, and your actions have consequences. If you want the police to stop bothering you, get a license, register your vehicles, and get proper license plates. Stop breaking the law. As always, I would like to give a shout out to all of my channel members for your support. All of you are awesome, and I really appreciate your support. And that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.